Hello and welcome. Let's say we have a general polynomial, p of x, and we can express it as a coefficient a times x to the power of n plus a coefficient b times x to the power of n minus 1 plus c times x to the power of n minus 2 plus d times x to the power of n minus 3 and so on and so forth. Well, in my last video we established that this polynomial can be written as p of x is equal to d of x, the divisor, multiplied by q of x, the quotient, plus a remainder r of x. And this this here is called the division identity. Well let's say that we have our divisor d of x is equal to x minus a, which means d of x is linear. Or a first degree polynomial. Because the index at the x here is x to the power of 1, although we don't have to write it. If that's the case, then r of x the remainder is simply a constant r because the degree of r is less than the divisor and we established that in my last video as well so because d of x is a first degree polynomial that means r of x is a zeroth degree polynomial and a zeroth degree polynomial by definition is a constant because x is zero is equal to one. All right, so that means p of x written in this form is x minus a multiplied by q of x plus the constant r and conversely I can write this equation as the remainder if it's unknown is equal to the polynomial p of x minus x minus a times q of x right well let's look at a special case when x is equal to a this means the remainder r is equal to p of a minus a minus a times q of a which equals p of a minus 0 times q of a which of course is equal to p of a. And thus we have proven the remainder theorem r is equal to p of a if a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus a. And this is what we call the remainder theorem. Remainder theorem. So for any given polynomial p of x divided by a linear function x minus a 
and the remainder is always going to be the polynomial evaluated at the constant a. So let's do an example. What is the remainder when x to the fifth minus 3x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 6x squared minus 4x plus 12 is divided by x plus 2. All right, I'm going to write the divisor d of x which is equal to x plus 2 as equal to x minus negative 2. I'm going to put this in parentheses. So this is the trick, or well, this is the thing that's important to remember when we have a plus. It's because we have to turn it into a um, x minus a constant format. So then the remainder according to the remainder theorem is just equal to the polynomial evaluated at the constant of the divisor, which is when x is equal to negative 2. So plugging that in we've got negative 2 to the power of 5 minus 3 times negative 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 times negative 2 to the power of 3 minus 6 times negative 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 times negative 2 plus 12. Alright, so negative 2 to the fifth is negative 32 and it's negative because the power is a odd number minus 3 times well, negative 2 to the fourth is 16 16 times 3 is 48 and because we have an even number here, negative 2 to the power of 4 is positive 16. Negative 2 to the power of 3 is negative 8 times 2 is give us negative 16. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 6 is 24, so minus 24. Negative 4 times negative 2, that's going to give us a positive 8 and plus 12. Alright, let's see how my mental arithmetic is. So negative 32 minus 48 is going to give us negative 80. Negative 80 minus 16 is negative 96. Negative 96 minus 24 is negative 110. Sorry, 120. Plus 8 is 112, minus 112, and plus 12 is minus 100. Alright, let's do another example. When the polynomial p of x is divided by x plus 1 times x minus 3, the remainder is 2x plus 7. What is the remainder when polynomial p of x is divided by x minus 3. Okay, to do this one I'm going to write out the division identity. So I'm going to write p of x is equal to x plus 1 x minus 3 so the divisor times some quotient plus 2 points sorry 2x plus 7 which is the remainder right now what I'm going to do is multiply this x plus 1 term into the q of x and since I don't know what qx is I'm going to call this product q prime x so q prime x is equal to q x times x plus 1. So I'm going to rewrite p of x 
is equal to x minus 3 so I'm going to write p of x is equal to x minus 3 times q prime x plus 2x plus 7. I probably should have used a different letter here instead of the prime because you can easily confuse that with differentiation but um, please be aware that uh, this is not differentiation this is just another representation of the quotient. Okay so now that I have an expression for p of x I can use my remainder theorem that r is equal to p evaluated at the constant of the divisor th 3 so that is equal to 3 minus 3 times the q prime of 3 plus 2 times 3 plus 7 well the front term is going to go to 0 which leaves us with 2 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 7 which is equal to 13 so that's basically the gist of the remainder theorem please give me a like if you have understood the concept if you are currently studying math please feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos that may help you on exams or assignments and as always, please feel free to ask me any question by commenting on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something.